Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit different. We uh, got a trip planned to Windrock for Memorial Day in three weeks. And it's gonna be a big trip. Uh, we've got everybody going, which hasn't happened since the last trip to Windrock Memorial Day. I think this is our sixth year in a row that we've uh, been to Windrock. But like I said, it's three or two and a half weeks away. And I'm here in the garage, it's Saturday, and I go over my machine pretty much after every trip, unless it's just like a race and, you know, there's nothing really broken and I just ride it for 10 minutes or so. But, so I got my list here, um, and contrary to popular belief, unlike Brian, who takes every bolt off of his machine, takes every panel off, takes the seat out, basically, disassembles his buggy and puts it back together. I do actually go over my machine after every trip. Uh, but anyway, on the list today, uh, we've got change, change the oil. These are both machines too, which is the bad part about having two machines is I have to do charities because she don't do it. She does everything else though, everything else. Uh, change the, the diff fluid. Uh, change the Bud Light fluid, change the trans seals. I got seals in my transmission. Both of them are leaking. Uh, so, gotta change both of those out. You can see the oil sort of at the bottom of the skid plate, but gotta do that. Grease everything. Uh, tighten ball joints, grease ball joints, grease wheel bearings, grease carrier bearing, grease steering rack, check brake pads. Uh, and then I got to put a new drive shaft in as soon as the new one comes in. But anyway, like I said, I'll be in here. It's like 12 o'clock. I'll be in here all afternoon, evening doing this. But it's part of owning a Razor. You know, they're fun. We have a great time out there, but they're a lot of maintenance. But Hopefully we'll get it done and uh, and no issues at uh, Winrock. As long as Grim Reaper doesn't show up, we'll all be be fine. I think. Say hey, buddy. Say hey. Say hey. All right. Thanks for your help, buddy. One thing I've learned over the years riding and all these trips we take and all the repairs that we've done and maintenance and all that, it's a whole lot easier to work on the razors at the rides when H and Brian and Ricky uh, are there to help. I mean, Chris sometimes will help, but most of the time he's just standing around with his finger up his ass. But uh, I understand Jeremy's logic now. I mean, Jeremy, doesn't work on his machine or anything before we go. He just waits and breaks down when we get there and uh, helps everybody uh, or, or watches everybody fix his buggy. But I'm making good progress. I've got most of the stuff knocked out, but man, like I said, it sure is easy when you got buddies here to help you. Uh, good looking tucker right there, buddy. Time to eat. Thanks for cooking, Ruth. Yes. Woo. Look at this guy. He's got a brand new buggy. Yep. We'll get to that later on. Where are your bottoms? Yeah, I'm here too. Yeah, well, we don't really care about Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for cooking, honey. You're welcome. She's absolutely right. Sonny, awesome. why don't you take the whole Watch grill? This. I mean, we don't want to eat anything. I know. Stay yeah, that's all right. I told him to get two. It's a good thing you've got Close this. up. No, stop Yeah, it. she made me get two, Terry. Look at that. Uh, uh. Hurry. Make sure there's nothing left for Ryan. Hey Chris, go make yourself useful and start a fire. Hey Ryan, why don't you <laughs> well, I will have to edit that out. <laughs> Benjamin, you ready to drive the new buggy? Yep. Hopefully. H Craft Custom 005. Five. H went out of order because he can't count. I need a 007. Well, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Why? What a part? What part of 
Double well, seven, you see, sense. you go zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four, zero five. Should I just keep going, or do you get the message? No, I understand what you say, but I needed double oh seven. Well, then you should have waited until six buggies were completed, and then build your buggy. <laughs> All right, because <laughs> you're more important, so you had to have number one. So, I mean, Numero uno, why, baby. Why should I get a buggy? I mean, come on. I got skip. Chris, I'm three. Yep, Benjamin's four. buggy yep. is bad ass. Yep. You'll have to do a little walk uh, around. I'm going to. We got to do it before it gets clean. Uh, uh, Jerry Gray. Thanks for cooking, honey. Seven time. Thank you, Charity. You're welcome. What kind of this this don't work at night. Yeah, it's hard to see. You're pointing at yourself, though. Am I really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what the problem Hey, look at that. Yeah, there you go. That's much better. <laughs> oh my god. I had this up in his face and it was pointing uh, at me. <laughs> oh my god. Got a, got a Sorry. Sorry. I've had this thing almost two years now and just kind of go through and talk about what what we like about them. Like why we spent the money on these, why we did what we did and I mean they're they're not cheap, but it was honestly the best money that I think I've ever spent in my life. I've had so much fun in this thing. It's held up great. It's done things that I couldn't imagine doing in a full body. Um, it's just been an incredible buggy. It, 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 no complaints at all. Like, I mean, it was, H just knocked it out of the park and I appreciate everything he's done for all of us in the group and very, very happy with it. It's been a great buggy. This is Chris's buggy. <clears throat> so I spent the money for a couple of reasons. The first is my full body was totally whopped out and unusable. What H did for me is I was very big on storage. So the, one of the things that I really liked was the fact that I could put so much stuff behind the seat. It's very easy to manage. But my favorite thing by far is how I don't need to hit anything. Because of the way that it's built, the wheelbase, the way that H has got this set up with the gearing that I have, I can come up to an obstacle and just climb it. In my full body, I had to always hit it to get the momentum to get the front tires over. With this, I can just climb things. I don't have to put wheel bearings in it every three trips. It has been, it's been solid. I would do it again. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do it again for Ruth once the economy turns straight. All right, good deal. <laughs> Sonny's buggy. Yeah, this uh, turned out awesome. I, I've been completely and totally satisfied with this buggy. I love everything about it. H did a lot of this uh, on his own design-wise. I was super busy working, and I kind of gave him a rough uh, template on what to uh, what to build. <clears throat> and um, and he knocked it out of the park. I mean, he did everything, all the little things that I asked for specifically, he did, and then some. Uh, <clears throat> he he built it in an amazing. Uh, Amazingly quick time. Um, I love I love everything about it. The uh, the best things I like about it are um, it, it's it's stability. It's it, it feels much. It feels like it's got a super low center of gravity. The uh, I went with the 106 wheelbase and um, climbing. It's just incredible. It doesn't you know the front end doesn't come off the ground. Um, it's just it, it feels so much safer. Uh, and it makes everything easier. Um, it's well worth the money. I know it's, uh, you know, they're, they're not cheap, but there's a ton of work in these things. And uh, I can guarantee you, if you get one, you won't be sorry. Yeah, I agree. Next up, we got Fancy, Charity's buggy. So this is Fancy, and she was a surprise. I knew that she was being built, but I didn't know anything about it. I knew um that i had told them that i wanted teal and that i liked leopard and so they h 100 came through with the teal everything and the leopard print and yeah she h is on the rav h did all that yep um i have definitely done things in this machine that i would not ever do in a full body um and it's definitely helped with my confidence it's super stable and yeah i love it all right awesome this is the newest buggy, zero miles, Benjamin's buggy. I love this thing, man. It turned out so good, the color scheme and everything. When he said he was doing orange, I was a little hesitant. 
but I mean honestly I think it's probably my favorite 1H is built as far as like just overall appearance wise the orange and black just look awesome together Benjamin you ready to get this thing out uh yes 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 I'm uh <clears throat> no miles on it no trail miles um but uh, this is just a just a result of what peer pressure will do <laughs> ride around with all these guys and you just you know they don't stop they don't slow down they just leave you and so i had to have something that would uh uh you know keep up but no in all serious seriousness i, I just knew that um that uh one of my biggest gripes or excuses on the trails was i couldn't see so like when h you know i told him what i wanted i said i want to see you know i don't care about the mud and wearing that so it's got really low cut sides to it the dash is way down way down low um just um you know i can see the right front tire sitting in the in the seat and you know everything we built we used the best stuff i finally got like rcd axles and every single piece of suspension is different and um you know the toughest stuff that that we've shown that will um, you know take a beating day in and day out so I don't know what I like about it yet because we've not really ridden it but I'm sure we'll find out soon well let's go scratch it up yeah I'm ready yeah this thing turned out great man it really uh, really did it uh, was very well thought out the visibility in this is by far the best that he's built I mean, it's a two-seater, but honestly, the visibility is better than <clears throat> my single seat. <laughs> nice work, H. Thank you, H. Yes. What do you like about this thing? I like it that it's different to all the others. Very, it's me. The lines on it, the 007, the English theme, the everything about this buggy has been absolutely wonderful as far as I'm concerned. And the thing that everybody likes about it is the fact that <laughs> I'll go from a trail mode to a rock mode in the press <laughs> of a button. It's been yeah. a good one. It's been awesome, absolutely fantastic machine. Visibility ain't so good out of this one, but the looks of it, well, I'll put up with the, uh, I'll put up with the visibility for the look of this buggy. It's awesome. Amazing job on all of them, mate. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, that's. I mean, there's a minimum of 230 to 250 hours a buggy here of build time. So it's a, it's a lot of time goes into making them to this level with the detail and stuff. So. But it's fun to see and it's something every one of these buggies we could ride all day long mm -hmm. all day long be comfortable like you could be in a full bottle thank you yes sir thank you thank you y'all hit a h up this man knows what he's doing best in the business